Good evening and welcome to another session with me Varun Rao on Tech Tablet. Hi all developers and job aspirants and everybody out there. I hope you're all doing great and lovely this evening. So in today's session, the aim would be to look at the basics of coding on SAP MAP. Uh, in, and the topic would be on reports, right? We've already been looking at a lot of other videos and sessions on an um, alternate day basis. And we've already covered topics like concatenate, how to you know, do addition, how to write, uh, what is I mean, what is the right command? What are parameters and things like these have already been uh, taken, and we've been understanding these in good uh, technical parlance. All right. In today's session, we would be looking at split and replace. All right. So now let me just take you to the SAP ABAP screen. Right, so this is the SAP ABAP home screen that we have. Now, all those who are looking for any training or in-depth understanding of SAP ABAP, you can always write to us. Or if there's any query that you have, you have the comment section right below on the YouTube channel, you please feel free to write anything. Or if there's any query that you have, we would address that at the earliest. And for all those who are looking for any free tutorial on uh, YouTube, please feel free as it would be lovely. We would feel lovely, we would feel really successful if in case you're learning something from this, which is being posted out of passion, just to help at least a few. Right, so to begin with, we shall go into SC38, which is the MAP editor. And in the last session, we have worked on ZTest003, in which we have seen system variables, and we have also seen how to do the concatenate uh, command, right? In today's session, uh, we would rather work on how to, uh, you know, work on split, all right? And then we'll look at the other thing. So here, let me create a new report with the title. And this would be split. And OK, what was it that we saw the other thing for today? It would be split and replace. All right, we would be working on these two. So let me just create my program name, split and replace. And the type would be an executable program. Saving this to my local object. Great, so I have my screen in front of me. So now what I would be doing is, let me just give the data, okay? And I would just be, you see, because it's a split uh, command, things, okay, guys, see, when you are working on a CPM app, or in that case, any domain, if you call, if you want to call yourself a developer, then in that case, you need to start thinking, algorithmically, logi logically, do not try to remember the code. Now, when you want to split something, okay, then you want to split it by, uh, you know, anything which, which has a space or probably which has a dot, then in that case, both of them are to be in one uh, parameter box, right? So we would be taking two variables, okay? So now what I would be doing is, I would be giving my name one uh, with, 10 cases of type C. And I would also take a name to of 10 spaces again, which will be of type C. Both of them I'm just taking type C here. And I would now take some parameters. Okay, now this parameter would be name three. All right, of size 10 and it would be type C. Now what I want to do is I want to split the name three. All right, I would be using split name three at, see whenever I have a dot, I want it to be split. Okay, and it should be split into variable one space. Okay, it is not variable one, it is name one space 
name two. Now these are the two names that I've taken, right? And in the output, I want a write command, you know, in my output. And it should be, you know, in two different lines. I, I want both of them one after another. So it will be name one followed by name two. So now understanding this, uh, ideally, whenever I, you know, have a parameter box of 10 name spaces, I have a dot in it. In that case, now, okay, it says that there is an error. It says write u line name one. Okay, well, in line number 10, there is an error. Okay, let me just now execute this. It says no system error. Fine. See, uh, you should take a space after the slash is given, which was not done by me. Now let me just run this. So now if I write, you know, uh, Varun Rao, which is my name, and I execute this. See, you would be having both of them in one, you know, both of them one below another. And I hope you're also able to see that there is a, a, a space um, on the top and then Rao is coming in the next line. Uh, this would be for, you know, you can understand the same. If it's a CPA map, you run this, both of them would be coming in two different lines. So yeah, this is how we have to, you know, understand coding. Now let us just, you know, see how replace would work. All right, now replace is another statement that we will have to see <coughs> now what i'm doing is uh let me just delete the data i don't require the data i would also like to delete this okay let me just delete everything except for right statement now in my parameters i have name three so this would just name should suffice now in my name you know whatever is the name that i write uh, okay let me just you know, give this on the name command as well okay so now this has been understood okay now if we execute this the same name would be written without any you know change in the output now if i type varun and if i you know just Hit run i would just be having varun here but then what i'm looking at is i want a to be replaced with you know b or, or i want v to be replaced with t okay so here whenever i use the word the key term replaced v with t so what would happen is whenever you are using uh, the term v you would have it replaced with t and this change is to be made into the name parameter all right now that is what i'm doing let's let, let me see if there's any error no there's no errors okay seems perfect let me execute this and when I go and click on execute, you would see that, you know, I have, okay, it's not getting replaced. Okay, let me give me a second. Right, seems fine to me now. Let us execute this now and see. See, so yeah, V is replaced by T and we are able to see an output that is being generated and our replace is also working successfully. Now let us see that you want to replace. There are three to four uh, uh, you know, A's or B's and you just don't want to see an A. Uh, in that case, what would you do? If you can just pause it for a second and think how to, you know, change all uh, instances of A or V. In that case, 
uh, let us you know just do this a with b replace a with b okay so now in this case what would be happening is see now uh, because we have varun had only one v that would not be a problem but then when you go with uh, things like sap abap you have three to four a's right but you would be seeing that the other a's are still available only the first a is replaced so how do you replace all instances of a now if you, if you can just pause this thing for a second and let's know about it um, that would be a great test to yourself but then um, you can just use the word replace and you replace all uh, occurrences of a with okay sorry it's not with c because you're not uh, you're not doing anything right so it's in then you would be giving the text and what is it it is name okay and uh, now I want this to go with B. So this would make the statement, but then before that you would have to comment this. It cannot execute both of them, right? So I, I'm just taking a parameter with name of 10 spaces and whatever would be the name, if there are more than one occurrences, if there's more than one occurrence of A, it would be replaced with B. And after that, I'm just writing it to my output. There's no inconsistency. The code seems fine. Now executing this and now SAP ABAP should probably, okay, now you are able to see that there is one B, 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 B. Okay, so we've seen all the instances of uh, A have been replaced with B. So this is how you can work on split and replace. All right, so I hope you learned something new and uh, you work on you know more coding paradigms and you explore more from here on and take it further. And in the meanwhile, if you have any queries, you can always write to us on the comment section below. Uh, we have also uh, come up with uh, a lot of infographics on Instagram in order to ensure that people who are on Instagram at least have an idea of where SAP is heading towards and what are the right technologies for us and not only on Instagram, we're also available on Facebook. You can follow us on either of the pages. If there's any queries, you can write on the comment section below. And if you like the video, hit the like button as it encourages us to go further. And if you feel that it might help anyone, do share this. And, and the last, if you want, if you're looking for regular updates on the same, you can hit the subscribe button followed by the by bell icon as it will give you regular notifications on the videos that we would be making. I hope you have enjoyed watching this session and you've learned something new. The next video would be on the next part of reports. All right, we'll see what it is in the upcoming video. Till then, keep coding, keep growing, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel as there's a lot yet to be exchanged between us. All of you have a great day out there. Thanks for being there.